it's Christmas Eve, 58 days till our first snow day at Breckenridge. So Andrew's over here wrapping Christmas presents. Merry Christmas everyone. And uh, we'll see me in a tick and soon you'll meet the other member of our family which is Bruin. So here you're seeing Jo doing her first exercise as prep for our ski trip. I don't ask me. Hitting the rower. So the reason we're making this video, well there's a couple reasons. Uh, one is to introduce ourselves to people that we'll be skiing with over in the US. So one of our friends is someone in Australian that um, has moved over there, so we haven't seen her for a long time. And the other people we're skiing with are friends of our family who live in the US. So it's a bit of an introduction to us, but also our life in Australia. The other reason for making this video blog is to give people some ideas on how you can exercise without having a gym membership. Showing you some ideas on what you can do um, to make fitness or extra exercise a bit of fun and also keeping us on track because you can watch what we've been up to week to week. Um, we've been inspired by some snowboarding videos so we're trying to make ours a similar kind of format. So the other thing we need to do this week is check out the stuff that we've bought towards our trip and uh, fitness and stuff like that. So let's go have to do this. I noticed that our shopping has got more expensive as the week goes on. Anyway, uh, purchase number one is this little guy. So this lets us plug the Surface laptop in so we can watch videos for like YouTube videos on the TV. Which is awesome. Um, and my purchase number two, so this one's really cool. I needed a new helmet, so let's check it out. So this is the um, Met crossover. So really happy with it. Nice and white, good crossover helmet for uh, racing, cycling, but also kind of commuting, cycling like I do. And um, look at this, it's got a light in the back that flashes and stuff like that. And um, adjustable, sweet. So the other new purchase of the week is Andrew's. Oh, so it's very Christmassy, red flashing light. Um, and Andrew's purchase of the week. Some might say this is my best look behind a mask, but here you go, great ski goggles. Looking forward to some great skiing. So the other news from this week is that Brian's had a haircut. Isn't he handsome? So Andrew's cooking green chicken curry. So yeah. my personal trainer's pro tip of the day is carnation coconut flavoured milk. So part of getting ready for our trip to Breckenridge is getting used to American food. So we bought these um, Southern Smoked Sweet Potato and Black Bean Burgers and of course Subway, which is going to be a bit of an indulgence because we haven't been eating carbs for ages. So I pretty much just got home from work and had a quick bite to eat and now we're walking the dog. And um, it's, there's Andrew. <laughs> And um, it's about 20 degrees, and you'll notice he's in the short sleeves and stuff, because that's 20 degrees Celsius, which uh, we'll get home and figure out what that is in your measurements. So um, yeah, it's summer here, and we are hugely looking forward to our trip to Breckenridge and Colorado, going to Vail as well. So, and um, potentially you can hear, oh look, there's one of the trees, yeah, never mind. Um, uh, kookaburras in the trees, because we're in Australia, I mentioned that already. Ha. Anyway. They really do make that noise, it's not just in the movies. Here we are, getting fit for Breckenridge. Brewing good. About to do a massive run. A fitness sprint to show they're ready for the slopes. Here we go. 
Go, 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 go. Look at them go. Faster than speeding bullets. More powerful than locomotives. Able to stop tall snowboarders at a single bound. And the pro tip of the day is don't run too close to dinner. There's <laughs> Christmas butter. Here we are. Heading towards the Christmas lights of the hood. Quite spectacular these are. Yeah. Very seasonal. Candy canes flashing amongst the undergrowth. Deers and Santas and snow falling and everything. Very impressive really. Just what you want. Star of Bethlehem. Santa on the boat in the background. Oh, fabulous. Christmas decorations today. So uh, better get started. This one's my favourite one. It's um, the horn, but my brother calls it the patron saint of golf tees. Christmas decorations done. As you can see, we don't get quite as much effort as the neighbours, but job well done. Bring on the light Christmas. It's Christmas morning, so we're out taking the dog for a walk. Um, it's part of my tip of the day is to make sure you get your exercise done early so you're less likely to eat more at um, the actual functions and things you're going to. So we've just got a local park and planting and there's some awesome step ups, some little squats over there in the shade. Um, and run a couple of tools for the job, in case. <laughs> so let's get step up started. On the days where I don't ride into work and catch the bus instead, I actually do more squats like this while I'm waiting for the bus, which is um, obviously pretty amusing for the cars going by because I hear lots of toots and waves and stuff. There goes the thundering herd, doing a couple of sprint intervals. Nice distance in this beautiful park. Oh, my goodness. How's that for an interval on a Chrissy day? So the other thing is quite good with a park like this. Um, you can use a stretch like this for a little bit of agility training as well. So um, I prefer to run on the grass rather than the concrete because it's better for your knees and stuff. But I just can go a few agility laps as well. <laughs> Everyone wants to join in. Walk finish. Good morning, it's Christmas Day, 57 days to go. A little weather report for you Sydney is going to be 26 with a low of 19 Celsius. Break is going to be, carry my writing, 39 <laughs> um, to 10 Fahrenheit. Anyway, so this is my breakfast tip of the day for you. So, this is what we normally do for breakfast anyway, but especially before you go out for something like Christmas Day where you can easily overeat or whatever. So this is the before, this is the after. So this is our current favourite recipe, it's a uh, banana mocha uh, smoothie. So it's got half a banana each, unsweetened almond milk, flax oil for omega-3, and chocolate protein powder, and um, some cold coffee, so that gives you your kind of mocha. So 